What you see me doing here is finishing up the drawing that has taken me now four videos to finish. <laughs> Wow, it has been a long time since I've drawn. I was going to actually live stream me drawing this process, but then as I thought about it, I realized I like to kind of chill out when I draw. When I'm drawing, it's me chilling out, getting something out of my imagination and out of my mind. And if I'm sitting there talking with people, I start to lose like what I'm doing. And it's just nice to chill out with like my playlist in the background and just sit there drawing what I want to draw. But I will say, I'm really enjoying doing live streaming. It's so much fun. It's just nice to be able to turn on a game and just, just go. Don't have to worry about editing it. Don't have to worry about all of that stuff. You just set up the live stream, press start, and you go. <laughs> this part alone took me just over an hour. And what you see me doing here is finishing up the drawing that has taken me now four videos to finish. I'm so happy to finally finish it. I don't really pressure myself to make these drawing videos because if I pressured myself to do art, then it would stop being fun, which I'm learning more about in my YouTube videos too, like when I pressure myself to do videos or when I make myself do a video that I don't want to do, I don't have as much fun with it. So I didn't want to do that with my art. I just want to make art when I want to make art. Do I pretend that I'm the best digital artist out there? Absolutely not. Am I the best painter out there? No. <laughs> but art's subjective. Some people may like it, some people may not, and I'm okay with that. What's fun is just going with the flow of what I want to do. Like uh, a couple Saturdays ago, I had had live streaming on my mind for a while and I just wanted to live stream. And one day I was like, hey Luke, do you wanna be my co-host for this last minute live stream and just go live and have fun? And I did, and you know what? I actually really enjoyed it. It was fun to like talk to my audience when I had a chance while playing the game and just then the live stream is more content for you guys to watch and I don't have to edit it. It's like a mini break from content making even though I am making content. It's so much fun. But I didn't want, like, this side of things to be in live streaming because I just want this to be its own video and I can come back through once I'm done and edit it and do this for you guys. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of creative things I like doing and other hobbies on top of that. And it starts to get like, how do I fit everything in? Because I like painting, I like doing digital art, I like um, exercising and dancing, and I like video games and reading and making videos. And it's like, I start to have so many hobbies that not only do I want them all sort of incorporated into my channel, I don't have to be like other YouTubers. I don't have to be like other people. I just gotta be me, you know? That's, that's where I'm at. And that's what was making me struggle so hard last year was the constant, oh, they do the same things as me, but they have many more subscribers than me, even though they started four years later than I did. Or what are they doing that I'm not? And it started to make YouTube videos be a struggle. But it's just nice to go at this at my own pace and be like, you know what, I want to do a drawing video. So here we are. And Honestly, I already have an idea for the next drawing video I want to do because there's a painting I made and if I can find the picture because I know I posted it somewhere. If I can put, find the picture, I'll put it up on the next video I want to do and I really want to remake that digitally just to see if I can and see how it would come out. So I think that's going to be the next few videos I get out because I love doing art. These rocks, I tell you, I did not think they were going to take me as long as they did, but I could not figure out for the life of me what I wanted to do for them. I knew I wanted them in the back. We're looking at like the back of the scene and everything else is in front of the rocks so that's kind of what I was trying to do but 
they were giving me such a hard time. I was putting filters on them. You can see the texture moving around just to make it look even more natural, I guess. I'm doing the same thing here that I did with the sand. I'm just resizing it to make it fit the rocks better. I like to save each element as its own thing so I can go back and resize it as I want to or just like I am now adding layers upon layers with the stuff I've already made so that way I don't have to redraw and redraw and redraw the same thing. It's just easier to save it as a as a PNG and then like resize it in the image. I did the same thing with myself and the Flareon. Once I have them finished how I like them, I save them as their own image and then I can play around with the size without accidentally butchering all the different layers that I put in it because that would be a nightmare. Right there I was trying to get a better rock texture but the layer did not do what I was expecting it to do. I thought it like warp itself around the rocks, not take up the whole screen. So I was like, nope, abort, 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 abort. It's nice to finally be like, you know what? I'm gonna draw today and just sit down and do it. Just throw music on in the background and draw. <laughs> And you know, digital art is a heck of a lot cleaner than traditional art. Because when I paint, especially my left hand, is covered in paint. My arm's all covered in paint. There's paint all over a table because I sit in the middle of my room. I have a keyboard holder from my old desk that I use as my paint table. And I set it on top of my paint kit and I sit there and paint on that so I don't like get it everywhere. But painting is such a mess and then you gotta clean your brushes so... As much as I love painting, painting digitally is so much cleaner and there's a lot less stuff to keep track of. And you don't run out of colors or paint because there's no colors or paint to run out of. Honestly, for this being my first digital art, I'm really happy with how it came out. Do I think it's the best art out there? No, absolutely not. I'm not gonna pretend it is because I'm not gonna be the person like, oh, I made it, it's the best thing ever. No, <laughs> and that's the fun part is watching it grow and watching it get better. And here, I'm trying to figure out the outlining and putting in another layer of the rocks that I made because I keep saving them once they're finished and moving them around. These rocks took forever for me to be happy with them. I've changed them so many times because they weren't looking how I expected. Like I knew I wanted a lot of rocks in the foreground because I kind of wanted it to look like the two characters were sitting in the middle of them and it kind of made the beach look a little lower than it was. To be completely honest, I like drawing scenes, I like drawing landscapes, I like doing stuff like this. I threw the characters in there just because I wanted to try to do characters because I don't do people that often because I am not good at people at all. Animated or real. I cannot do people. I don't know what it is. I looked at anatomy after anatomy after anatomy and just the art of drawing people escapes me. <laughs> I don't know why. So that's why I did these sort of tiny tiny people and a little Flareon. That's supposed to be me with my favorite Pokemon on the beach. You don't have to overthink it. Like Bob Ross says, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. And that's another thing too. With digital art, it's very easy to go back and like undo a mistake. Whereas in painting, that's a whole nother layer you have to add on to. I don't know if you guys like these sort of story time videos, but I like making them. I like just chatting. And it's kind of fun to watch my own drawing get made. It's so wild to watch myself do this process it's like is that even me doing that how am i how am i doing that <laughs> like you know it's wild to watch these back and these videos are more chill too like these videos my book videos those are more chill and i like doing more chill videos because it was so much fun to do and i think me doubling the layers and resizing them made it look more realistic we're coming up on the finished drawing soon and i'm happy with it I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.